Hi, everybody. I've invented a light spell in Ars Magica. And I'm using it to make my local area safer. I've also been using Ars Magica to do a little bit of landscaping around here. I'm flattening out this area because I want to expand my factory building. It needs to be a tower. I mean, sure, I could dig the whole thing underground, but... Really, the way I've been doing it... It's just all crowded and cramped together and really ugly. I'm sure I could come up with something more organized than this. So I have three or four things that I want to do at once. And if I do them all, this episode is going to take a week and a half. So I suppose I'd better focus on this tower. And much as I hate to say it, I think that I really need to raise this original building to the ground. This will actually save me a lot of time if I can come up with a decent storage box for everything in here. Since I can just use an RF Tools Quarry Builder. both for building the tower and for tearing this stuff down. Wonder where I put the thing. Here it is. Right here where I left it. So now that I've located my builder block, where do I want to put it? Honestly, anywhere I want. It really doesn't matter as long as I can set the offset on the shape card. But this isn't the shape card I'm looking for. I want to make a quarrying shape card. Well, we should set the dimensions first. And they should be either 24 by 24 or 48 by 48. I'll try 48 by 48 first. since I'm pretty sure that it's doing the diameter and not the radius. So let's see. Floor is too low. We want to increase that offset by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven meters. And that's the Y, so we'll just make that 21.
and that is in fact where I want that to be. This is right where I want that to be. And this wall is pretty much where I want it to be. Over here, we are about one or two meters short. So we're going to want to increase that dimension by one. And this dimension, okay, we want to increase that dimension by two, this dimension by one, and move the offset to by positive one in both cases. And Z plus 1. I don't know why it would do that. It should be 48 in both cases, but anyway. And we want to make that a 5. And that 21. Oh, and we want this to be a cylinder. Now let's see if I got these entirely backwards. What have I done? I think I got the offset backwards both times. All right. Okay, I've made about six trips back and forth before I, before I finally got this cylinder to exactly the size I want. And am I ready to start? Not yet. I have a few chests that need to move and other containers. I'll have to pick up the old uh, uh, rotary blast furnace. And the um, lava. So yeah, I'm going to move that stuff from down the, from up there to down here, and then I'll be ready to start. And finally, storage. This should catch everything that the quarry picks up. This will be transmitting the redstone signal to the quarry. so that I can activate it from up here and watch all the destruction happen. I've got pretty much all the chests taken out and removed everything from storage except for these furnaces just so I can see what happens. So all I need to do now, or all I should need to do, is give this a redstone signal.
Maybe I should put this on top. That should cover things if it takes power, too. There it goes. Well, hopefully you're doing more than that. It would be annoying if all you do is just break some glass and then stop. Ah, uh, I think I need to set this to be a solid cylinder. All right, we'll turn this off. Pull this out. Pop it back in. That seems more like it. All right, so we will turn off the preview again. And watch this go to pieces. There appear to be some blocks that this thing does not pick up. And they would, of course, have to be blocks that I used a lot of. Apparently, it just doesn't like seared brick blocks. as well as timers and redstone engines. Actually, stone bricks, it doesn't matter because that's outside the uh, quarry area. Furnaces? So is it just leaving tile entities alone? That's all right. I know what I want to do with it. We're going to go with an old school quarry. That is to say, build craft. Just like so. But we're going to make it a little bit simpler than the ones we had before. We're not going to mess with engines this time. I'm just using a HP capacitor to put power directly into it.
I wonder if I could shut these off with a redstone signal. Well, one way or the other, there's nothing quite like the classics. We're getting pretty close to the end, and I think, yep, this thing's about full anyway. Time to put a stop to it. All right, so next we're going to take all this basalt. And we're going to put it with this thing. And we are going to copy over this information, over to this, except for some heights. Those are going to be different. But still, we want 50, 14, and 50. We want a capped cylinder. And we want this much taller than that. Let's go with 70. It should certainly be taller than it is wide. Okay, and Offset of negative 2, 21, and 18. And 21 is going to be more like 46, I think. And I forgot the other numbers. Negative 2 and 18. All right, I think this will work. I can just fill in the other stuff around here by hand. Which leaves me one other thing to worry about, which is I do not have enough basalt. I've got... 1,244, and I need 1,300. Okay, I'm not that far off. In fact, if I made it just a regular cylinder, I'd only need 9,000. Cap cylinder is 13,000. Oh, yeah, I'm way off. I'm going to need 10 times as much of whatever I'm putting into this. Which is doable. But I'm going to need more barrels.
or a bigger barrel. Yeah, I think I will upgrade a barrel to at least four times this capacity and then go dig up a few volcanoes. I'm doing really terrible at making this a small episode. So let's see, there's our old portal. And there's a volcano just west of it. So that actually works for me. I am now ready to put down this. as well as this. And one of these. And finally, This little fellow right here. And I'm going to go down and grab me one piece of basalt to tell it to put in this after I do these upgrades. And off it goes. Isn't that pretty? All right, so this is no doubt going to take a few minutes. And I wonder why it's not getting that stuff over there. Ah, because of the lava on top of it. I should do something about that. Put some sand. There really ought to be an easier way than this. But it seems to be doing the trick. And it's still easier than doing the whole uh, digging up the whole volcano by myself. Okay, it has taken quite a while to get these recharged. But I have finally gotten it done. 
It took so long, I think I filmed about half of next episode, in fact. So these capacitors should be enough to get me up to the 12,000 or so basalt that I think I'm going to need to build my tower. Of course, once I gather it all, it's all going to be cobblestone, and I want smooth basalt, so it's all going to have to be cooked, too. Which basically means there's going to be a lot of off-camera stuff that you're not going to see. Because it will be boring. But, yeah, we should have enough battery power to finish this. All right, we've used up all five batteries again, and we have 16,746 basalt. Alright, so I'm going to pick up my stuff and go home. And back home again. Where we'll just be plugging this barrel into this logistics pipe. And we have already got the furnace set to take all of the basalt that it can and oh so slowly cook it into uh, smooth basalt. So I remembered that I had industrial craft installed in this pack. So I decided to put in four iron furnaces. They burn faster than regular furnaces and are therefore a little bit more fuel efficient. And of course, putting four of them means I'm burning four times as much stuff. So now it'll take only one fourth of forever to fill up this barrel. So we're up to uh, a bit over 11,000, which is enough. And it's about time. I was getting bored. In fact, I got so bored, I made this. Because I actually had time to make it while I was waiting for those stones to cook. And it's going to be the home for my birds my Uvaraptor and my Ventoraptor, after I f add a few more touches. I'm going to put some fence in these windows, which will be extended and removed with uh, drawbridges. And I also plan on putting an enhanced portal in the ceiling, which will tide me over until I find another way to get the birds up here. I have a couple of ideas, I just have yet to implement them. So yeah, I think this is the best thing I've made in this world so far, and I didn't even record it, so that's a little annoying. That would have made a great episode in itself. There we go.
I'm pleased. I was afraid that the salts wouldn't look good, but uh, I do believe I like the way it came out. Of course, we're not going to just leave it plain like this. There will be some decorations and windows and such. Not to mention all the machines we're going to fill this with. But just the same, as an end of an episode, this might be a little anticlimactic. So, we'll end this episode with another look at my birdhouse. Next episode, I hope to come up with stuff to put in that technical silo. And maybe even give it a roof. Until then, have some fun, build something cool, and have a nice day.